Hello everyone and welcome to another PWN Studio video on Geoglyph. I can't get that right every time for some reason. So in the last one we ended on High Desert. So let's go ahead and we already did one on Highlands. So let's do Igneous. So this will probably be a really good volcanic looking scene. Um, and the description here says a unique hard, new hard rock surface generator. Igneous produces strong angular lines and natural rock breakage. The results mimic the brittleness of igneous rock and are generated from pure fractal mathematics, not erosion. Interesting. This macro is an excellent choice for creating expansive terrain floors and can be mixed with other geoglyph devices such as peak and crater. So this is going to be interesting. Again, there's scale, warp, you probably get that really good igneous look when you start warping it really high. I like that look. Roughness, it's primordial, that looks pretty cool, okay. Let's turn up the warp a little bit higher, or yeah, higher, and then let's turn the scale down. And let's combine this with peak, and I think that's right here. I'm just going off of what the uh, description said to do. So there's the coordinates. We don't want that. I'll just change the coordinates of the actual fractal. So what we want to do is put a combiner in here, like this. Oops, come on. There we go. And let's change this to add. I don't know, average. Um, power? One of these will do it. We'll make it look okay. So that's so it looks like screen worked in the combiner. So we're getting that igneous look right here as well as peak. But let's go ahead and look at these different options in here. So the radius and peak is just going to change the radius of this outside area, as you can tell. And we can turn this way down and get nothing or get something really spiky. Or we can just turn it up a little bit. And I like almost the default. Turbulence will just affect the, the, the different uh, warping that you get. And I think this is based on direction and not amounts. So I'm going to turn this down to about half. And I'm just going to change the seed just to get a different look. There we go. Now let's build this. We'll take a look at it. And they both look like they both take quite a bit of time to build. And when I say quite a bit of time, it's really not that long. Okay. Oh, nice. Igneous look down here. Peaky right here. Okay, this is cool. It doesn't look like that in here. It looks... Okay, I guess it does look a little bit like that. Let's change the lighting. I like this right here where you can see where the, the land right here is kind of bulging up, like it's hitting other um, little uh, plates, and it's starting to bulge up. That looks really nice. And this igneous rock is giving like these harsh rock formations here. So let's go back and look at igneous, and let's turn the scale down all the way. Let me move this so I can actually see what we're doing. And let's turn the roughness up a little bit. And let's change the tactile a little bit more so we get something different. It's really hard to know what you're getting a lot of the time. Let's build this, see what this looks like. It looks like peak was already built, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, that looks, ooh, nice. We're getting some cliff area over here. That's nice. 
So this would do really well with some erosion. So Neo Flow. And I'll probably be using that a lot. I'm going to save this. NeoFlow does change it quite a bit. I'm just going to stick with the defaults with NeoFlow just to see what we get. Let's build it. Try not to be too loud. I've got a I've got a baby sleeping here. It'd be really intense if that baby woke up. Okay, NeoFlow. 28 seconds, 29. That's the longest I've ever seen it take. 35 seconds. So it's doing some really crazy stuff. Let's take a look at it. All right. Oh, okay. This is going to look awesome inside a different program. Nice. Looks, looks good. Um, you get a lot of different variation here. So much. It kind of destroyed our igneous look a little bit. Uh, it's still there, uh, but it, just a little bit. Let's go ahead and throw on a kill spike. And you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, enough of that. Heck no. I'm going to put that on there every time. Turn down the aggression. Maybe five. Let's let's build that. I just really hate that that iconic world machine look with erosion just destroying it with those spikes. Now that is too soft. So I kind of killed it with too much of a kill spike. I'll go in there and change that. Turn the aggression down to two. I really like this igneous one. It just looks reminds me of southern Utah in some areas, or or central Utah, I should say. All right, so this is some good peaky looking stuff. Um, I think we're I'll call it good for these two. I just want to look at igneous without the peak, so I'll delete the peak and delete combiner but I'll keep neo flow it eh, look at that dead good thing I saved it there we go now let's see what it looks like with just neo flow because the uh, fractal you get with this igneous macro is very detailed on its own already so that looks good oh yeah it looks like we could use a little more kill spike going on right here not much might not even be worth it at that point and we get this really cool striation look right here so this is awesome I like this a lot I think I want to render this out and view at one point something like this anyways that'll be the next video case exporting these and inputting them into view and doing some really cool renders with them I'll keep these it, it, it looks like there might be too spiky but they're not it's the low resolution that I'm rendering them at or building them at that looks good I like it so that is igneous peak and uh, NeoFlow, and I already talked about NeoFlow, so that's mostly just Igneous and, and the Peak macros, and both of them give really good results. Thank you for watching. Please visit www.pwndesign.com. Rate, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate you guys. You, make, you keep me going, and I would love to continue going. Thanks, and have a nice day.